Hello. Today we are going to be talking about George Keenan and his policy of containment. He was a former Secretary of State under Harry Truman and president after Franklin Delano Roosevelt. The policy of containment was not centered around military force. Instead, it was centered around rehabilitative diplomatic measures. The idea was to build the esteem of people, and by doing that, you would stop them from switching their country over to communism, as it was more of a, he viewed communism as a social movement, somewhat similar, similar to terrorism today, as in that the esteem of the people needed to be low for them to go to such drastic measures to want to change their nation. It was applied in Europe, and it was applied successfully. You know, out of all the nations that were given the economic funding and that were not Soviet-occupied, none of them switched over to communism. Instead, they grew their trust with the United States, and we ended up having pretty good relations with them in this time. Um, you know, but this is a part of our foreign policy that we've really stopped enacting and stopped using, and we tend to rely on just the military force and our arms, similar to what the Soviets did during the Cold War. And the article gives a very compelling fact about terrorism, something that is a social movement that could be said, that comes from low esteem of people and them feeling like ostracized and left behind from the Western world. And that is the fact that force and retaliation to suicide bombers only makes way for more suicide bombers, as the data shows that when the United States or any other nation uses military force in reaction to a suicide bomber, it means that that attention given to them is only going to give them more people in their movement of terrorism, which is, which is not the course of action we want. So we need to find a way to build the esteem of the people like the policy of containment did. And why is this such a problem? Well, as the article mentions, there's a complete lack of open-mindedness in U.S. foreign policy. We tend to go into countries and establish our ideals of freedom. But these aren't the ideas of what people feel sh they need to be free in every country around the world. It's going to be different because every country is going to have a different culture. And we need to take it on their culture if we're going to effectively build a government there that would last and bring peace and prosperity to their people. And for that to happen, we would need to channel George Keenan's policy of containment towards terrorism. When we go into a country like Iraq, like Afghanistan, we need to take in on the responsibility of victory that comes with that. We need to make sure that we set up a government that the people would care about, that represents their ideas of freedom, not ours, because Western society is not Middle Eastern society. Um, and uh, a very compelling piece of evidence of this, and a, a story more of that was given in the article, was um, when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan and um, were eventually pushed out, they were pushed out by a, a group of insurgents and they were backed by U.S. arms and, and finances through Pakistan. And when this was done and it was completed, um, one of the leaders of Afghanistan asked for $1 million to help rebuild schools, infrastructure, and roads. And it was ignored by um, the appropriators in Congress, and they were not given anything similar to their version of a Marshall Fund that would have helped rebuild the country. Um, now, some of those arms that we gave, they ended up, hand, that group of insurgents ended up being the Taliban. So when we went in to go fight Afghanistan in 2001, well, we were fighting our own arms when we were fighting the Taliban, because why we had done business with them in the past, whether we want to admit it or not. Right, so where's the problem? Obviously, you know, we're a country in debt and, um, you know, money shouldn't just be thrown at things. But the thing is, we spend 22% on arms and military every year of our federal budget. Only 1% goes to these kind of 
essential programs to our foreign policy and our diplomacy and you know they establish how we're viewed around the world and that is essential the world should view america as the peacekeeper of the world the one that's going to make sure people are truly free and to do that we need to be open minded we can't be closed minded we have to follow a policy of containment not a policy of a policy of force and aggression Thank you.